So we have ourselves a uh, major upset. At least I think it's a major upset. Uh, to those who don't know, Norman Neely recently fought against Rydell Booker at the uh, NAC Newton AC, whatever that it's it's in uh, Pennsylvania, uh, Newton Township in Pennsylvania. Um, yeah, they recently fought. Fight ended in the first round with Rydell Booker, old man Rydell Booker, pulling off the. Big upset win, stopping Norman Neely in round number one. And when I say old man, Rydell Booker, I, I'm not trying to be offensive. I mean, the man is it's old for the sport of boxing. Um, it's crazy because I, I remember just a couple of weeks ago, Rydell Booker just fought. <laughs> he fought against uh, Stephen Shaw. And next thing you know, I'm seeing on social media, he knocked somebody out, an undefeated heavyweight. Uh, just this weekend, and uh, you know it's 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 crazy. It's a it's a crazy win for Rydell Booker. Um, there's this clip of it. Uh, Mark Mark Ortega shared a clip of it on social media. Mark Ortega works for PBC uh, and Fox. Um, but yeah, it shows. If you watch a clip, it shows him landing a big right hand, landing a big right hand that rocked him, and you know you see him clearly dazed. Rydell Booker went for the kill and um, was able to drop him. He dropped him. So you see Neely in the ground. He was able to get up. He was able to get up. Ref was counting. And next thing you know, he looks at his corner and he decides to take a knee. He decides to take a knee. And referee stopped the fight. Um, there's two minutes left. More than two minutes left in the round. Uh, yeah, I don't think Neely would have survived if the referee let that fight continue. Uh, you can still see that he's still wobbly and dazed and hurt. And, um, yeah, he, he would have just been taking unnecessary punishment at that point. But, yeah, Rydell Booker, man, 41 years old, got a big win. After how many years? Because if you guys don't know, he, he took 14 years off after losing to James Tony back in 2004. He had a few good, win had you know, a few stay busy wins, and uh, he, you know, fought Jermaine Franklin, twenty nineteen, loss, Kubert Pulev, loss, Philip Hergovich, loss. He's, you know, he's fighting these young prospects, young up and coming undefeated heavyweights uh, or top, um, you know, heavyweights, and he always lose to them. Stephen Shaw recently, just a few weeks ago, uh, he lost by unanimous decision, and you know, on to the next undefeated prospect or undefeated up-and-coming heavyweight, Norman Neely, and he pulls it off, which is proof that, you know, just because you're cannon fodder or you're there to, you're supposed to lose, doesn't necessarily mean you have, you, you're, you know, just there to collect a paycheck. You can actually try to win, and props to Rydell Booker for actually getting the win, and again, proof that anything is possible in the sport of boxing, especially this division, the heavyweight division. One punch can change the entire fight, and, uh, you know, I'm happy for Rydell Booker. He finally got a decent win against an undefeated up-and-coming heavyweight in Norman Neely. Now, Norman Neely is not the best up-and-coming heavyweight, but he was undefeated going to this fight. Now, suffers his first loss in his pro career. You know, you get caught. You get caught, and uh, it's the heavyweight division. What, like I said, like I keep saying before, uh, one punch can change the entire fight. And, uh, you know, this fight is proof that it can happen. It can happen. So again, big congratulations to Rydell Booker on the win, and um, and yeah, the, the clips ever it's on social media. Uh, I mean, I just pretty much showed you guys. I better not freaking get a copyright strike. Whoever's in charge, who is in charge of this event? Fight Night powered by Everlast. I have no idea, but um, but yeah, I better not get a copyright strike, bro. This 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 video is uh, not just showing the fight. So you know, I went over. I I did some commentary on my own. You know what I mean? So, anyway, um, but yeah, if you saw the fight, which I just showed you, let me know your thoughts in the comments. What did you think about it in the comment section below? Thanks for listening and watching, and like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.